yeah good evening guys so welcome back to my channel hope you guys is doing amazingly great today i will show you how to make this professional banner on your android smartphone using pixel app this design as you can see has a lot of variation and manipulation which you can use different color and create something good out of it so i'm going to show you and explain everything in this video just make sure you watch the end is that not great but before we start relax let's first check the intro decography skills with creativity please consider subscribing to our youtube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos so without wasting much of our time let's get started Uh, the first thing we need to do is to just bring all the background and uh, we are going to explore do all the necessary things here yeah? so i have to set the background size to 120 by 120 which is square size is very good to make uh or uh, depend on your choice anyway or depend on what the size the client actually wants so after that we are going there uh, bringing the background and we are going to select other things one after the other so the background I want to use this, I've already researched the element and I get everything from Google, some from FreePick and some others from a PNG. So after I got in them, then I decided to share it with you guys. So after importing that, I'm going to import this as a kind of a layer that will uh, make the image I'm going to use to be noticeable. So after that, I'm bringing this uh, particular from which I downloaded directly from PNG. So I will position it, but once I uh, uh, import the three, I will lock them. Then the next thing I want to do right now is to go and bring the image, which I'm going to send backward. So I'm bringing this image, which already crap, as you can see. So I will position this image to the center. After positioning it to the center, then we use our relative position. Then we reposition to the center. Now what we're going to do next is to send it to the back. So that this thing will be easy. After that, the next thing we are going to do is to have a lock so that our hand will not be touching it. Then we head him back to our gallery. Then we we'll bring this particular frame, this particular shape. We we'll have a position here. Then we we'll have a lock. After locking it, we are going to copy. So after copy it, then we are going to make sure that uh, these two shapes are in line so we're going to free this space a little bit so free it a little bit we just make sure that they are in line with each other okay so i think it's okay like this so now we lock the two this is cool right so now i go to the shape area so on getting to the shape we're going to have this uh, position so let it grow up a little bit okay i think it's cool like this then we're going to shift it go to this side exactly like this then we're going to move it down a bit straight okay cool now the next nice thing the next nice thing we're going to do is to have this lock first then we add him back to our gallery then we'll bring this particular shape so we're going to position that here now have it lock after locking it, then this uh, white shape, we are going to change the color to, but using the color picker from here, or let me use the color picker for better color uh, uh, uniform. So after position, you can see everything is actually plot. Now I have an image. I have all the images which I'm going to uh, bring one after the other. So after this, I'm still looking for um, Kami. Mm. okay so the next thing i'm going to do is to report i'm um, uh, bring this image again so after bringing it what we're going to do is that uh we're going to position that let it be at the center here then we're going to position it here 
so position it around there so this can be reduced a little bit so that i can have a space to stay here so let it grow up okay good so the next thing we are going to do i'm thinking of uh, doing something turn this to black and as you can see i have my reason why i can't turn it to that okay but i will, I will eventually arrive that so cool so i'm able to turn it to black right so let's check for others okay perfect perfect this is manageable right this right but let me try something and see whether it's going to work applying the ship directly this actually works anyway so we have a lack now after locking in then the next thing we're going to do is to just uh putting in our right up so i'm going there then i'm having my right up to be um let's say baba first we we'll have baba first then we're going to use a shape called uh let's use a uh, atom we want to use an atom font so which is here yeah, anton regular so using that font we allow us to position this here so this will go in as you can see then uh, we're going to increase a little bit so after increasing then you can you can rearrange rearrange very well then uh, we're going to move it down a little bit if possible but uh, aside that uh, let's let's um send this to the back okay first so after sending it to the back we can let it go in go in a little bit um go in the, a little bit so this is actually cool right so now we won't allow it to go in much than that uh, so this is cool now so after this uh the space is normally is okay have it locked then the space here is too much close. So what we're going to do is to just uh, just move this up. And then we're going to bring it down. So bring it out to create a little space. Then we'll look at it very well. So this is actually cool. So now put this here. Then after cropping very well and you're satisfied, we'll have it lack. Then we'll look at it very well from different angle. Is that okay? so this is cool right so the next thing we are going to do is to look at our side then we'll look at it is it actually okay so we can send this to the let's send it here a bit i think it's cool like this it's cool so we can we can unlock for us to be able to shift a bit so this is perfect right so now we can lock it now after locking in then the next thing we're going to do is to go to the shape again i mean the text area then we have shop so shop after shop then we go to the font type then we choose railway so let's choose railway and see how it look okay this is fine then there should be more space in between them very good more space then it can still be reduced when we look at this page so we can reduce it okay perfect perfect then we can space it depend on our choice then after spacing you are going to align and make sure you 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 align based on the bubble how it shows so now this is cool right so we are going to shift a little bit let it balance and then you will maintain it then the space needs to be created a little bit are you getting it so let me just uh, off the data so that it won't got distracted so now after that we can move this one down a bit so as to create space yeah so now i think uh, this is cool okay perfect then uh, after that the space is actually cool right? so the next thing we're going to do after that we are going to our gallery so let's import all these uh numbering bulletin so which shows that uh, 
we need to shift uh, this a little bit but let's move it down a bit so that we can now do our own adjustment or we are going to shift this a bit so shift it a bit okay okay this is actually cool right so now we have it done then we can lock it okay very good so after that i want us to get everything ready and get prepared so that we can uh actually fill them so we have a, uh, a call icon and a whatsapp icon to be positioned so we we'll have that one position here then we'll go to the lock we we'll lock them then we're going to select the location icon as well so after selecting we're going to position have it lock as well so now we're making sense okay after that the next thing i want us to do is to just uh move this one down a little bit to create a breathing space so we are making sense then the next thing i want to do is now is to go to the shape area so i have this particular shape there's one thing i want to show you on how to do here we are going to go to our gradient and go to the gradient we are going to use our color picker pick the color that we have been using using this color so after that what we are going to do next is to bring this to the center then we are tapping here let this be um let's tap the same color we are going to tap the same color okay tap color okay perfect then we are going to plus then we we'll have this copy then after having the copy no problem just tap on the first one then move this one towards the edge okay perfect tap the last one click the color book it then you move it towards the end okay perfect now as it is we can shift it a little bit to this area while we click on the second one we we can see what we actually achieve but we haven't achieved that we are going to change how it look so we have something like this we have something like this you can see right so now we are going to bring this one in a little bit too so that we're able to see whether we are then you can see how it look so we are going to drag this a little bit to the center too then we'll drag this as well then we we'll check how it look so now we can see how this look but it's not deep yet but what we can do is this we can still click on plus sign on clicking on plus sign then we are going to fill the second one we we'll fill this sorry for the second one so fill it so that we'll be able to have it towards the edge this one towards the edge are you getting it then let's check so what i'm trying to form you will actually save it now and uh, if that one will not show then we'll turn this one to pure white no sorry we turn the color to pure white actually let it go to pure white you can see right so we click ok so for this side too we will have what we call a pure white no not this this side we we'll have pure white so now we have the pure white at the two sides as you can see so now let's check so when we check it then you can see it appear the way we actually want it it appear exactly the way we actually want it so now that we want it that way then we are going to make sure that uh, we spread it and we have the position around there are you getting it so let it be around there now we can reposition to the center and check then when you look at it everything will actually plumb to the background i mean to the background so i still have a little adjustment to this so click on it again then we go back to this particular area where we are going to shift a little bit so we shift this a little we move this we move this a bit so click ok and let's check so when you check it then we can see that uh, the two are really blue but the right are not really blend again so we are going there then we have this to be blend so which means i'm going to shift this a little bit and this is uh, actually okay so we click ok then we we'll have our result now position and centralize it now we achieve what we actually wanted so we can now go ahead and fill everything so the next thing we're going to do is to go to 
write the name of the, I mean, the brand name of the beba. So I want to have a Lucas. So we have Lucas, Lucas. You can see Lucas. So we go to the font area. We want to use Archivo, Archivo regular, Archivo. This is it. So using an Archivo, we can use the one border than that anyway. Archivo. Um, and that one will be the this land one when your work is actually scatter like this no cause for alarm just recover the auto save then you actually your work will actually come back you can see only the present one will not be able to showcase then you rechoose so i've rechoose then i can change right look at again so right in the lookers, go to the boat board and see if we take it. Then if it doesn't take it, we can now reduce the size and we'll have it position around there. But um, we can put any of the brand new we actually want. Let's take it for I want to use uh, uh some toes, some toes, some toes. Then you can see right some toes. Some two six, okay. Sorry, not change. Some two six, okay. So now we have this. When we can go to the font uh, type, where we choose the one that we bought. So we have a uh, archivo. We have archivo. Then we can choose the one of a boat. What we're going to be the one to go here and we have a boat right so we have a written boat so now that we have it boat we can just uh, rotate okay okay very good then we can go to the space and space a little bit okay good This is how to write the symptoms. Then after that, we go to the color. We can place the light color on top of a light background. So we need to change it to black. Click on plus sign and you make it more darker. Now we can see the name of the baby shop. So after that, we are heading back to, um, we are going to copy this. Copy it and then we we'll post services. Are you getting it? Services, then we'll have this to be changed. We can't place black or top black, so we we'll have the white to be changed. So let's look at it very plum, right? So everything is actually okay now. We're getting that. So after that, the next thing we're going to do in changing this, uh, we're going here to another text area where we have a we have let's say whizzing. Oh no, we have ear color, ear color. Okay, ear color. Then uh, we have a uh, shampoo. Okay, then we have a uh, beat trims. Okay, beat trims. Okay, then we have a. Uh, Wasting, we have wasting. Okay, very good. So after that, we go to the text area. They want to use Biba font, uh, Biba snow font. So which is this, as you can see. So after that, we are need, we need to now align this and uh, set it properly. So we need to reduce a little bit for us to be able to follow everything. So after reducing, there will be more space in between them which will make it a match what we have already selected. So I will have this, as you can see. After leaving it, then we can reduce the size. And let's check, this is actually work a bit. So this is actually work, right? So we move it a bit. Then after that, we can go to this shop. So copy the shops 
uh, uh, text then we are going to have uh, let's say contact us contact us so that is it then we are going to close the space just cancel here then we'll have that to be positioned around here after reduction after reduction so after that we can actually increase the size of what actually wanted but we can create a little space in between that so this is actually cool again right so after that we copy the same text after being justified then copy then we will have what we call a location so the location will be around here okay okay so copy this have it positioned around there okay okay then we can increase if we actually wanted to take to one so very good so we have this now right so now we can go and uh, use the same font for the last one if we actually feel like so i want to put in something exaggerating let's say classic ear cut okay classic ear cut is guarantee yeah it's guarantee classic ear cut is guarantee so we can space this a little bit anyway so we'll go to the space between the alphabet we'll have a space we can have a space well anyway then we have a reduce then we are going to position it here go to the color change it to black then reposition to the center go to movement position button position arrow okay position arrow then we are going to justify now we got this everything is actually okay and we are getting there now go to the text area then put the phone number so let's say we have a, a phone number to be 0703466 okay very cool now we want to use leak pattern font yeah leak spatter does that so we are going to reduce the size change the color to black because of the background which is already white so reduce it to a minimal level let it fit in along with uh along with the icon social media and icon so that it will look ready made so now this is actually cool right so the next thing we're going to do we copy the same uh, or text then we'll put uh let's say main road okay main road your burden sorry main road ibadan main road ibadan so now after having this we are going to position this here okay very cool now i'm making the, now we want to go back to our gallery and bring in the sample the samples of the haircuts so we want to bring them and apply them one after the other so i'm bringing this first I'm bringing it first then it has to be positioned here so you make sure that everything is really properly placed now go and start locking them one after the other because at this junction you won't uh, uh you won't like to scatter your work so after position that we go in i've already cropped them then i make them the same size so so that we won't waste much of our time so now we have this okay so the next thing we are going to do is that uh, we position the we reposition very well let's go and select the others okay perfect so the next thing is uh, this perfect now we need a little bit adjustments so that everything will actually plumb and the thing is more closer to the top than bottom so you need to adjust that okay so after this you can have this one lock then we'll go with the second one we'll go with this 
so we can adjust this a bit too okay perfect so we can adjust these two okay perfect now the size is not actually rhyme so we need it to be rhyme so i want to the first one which is imported you need to be adjust as well so we need to be need it to be uniform so now I believe everything is actually right. But the funny thing is that I have to make the four together and uh, shift them to the center. So we have this. Then I'm going to shift the four. You see how I move all the elements together at the same time. So you can actually do that to save yourself time. So reposition. Now everything is actually cool. And everything is actually center. And as you can see, we are able to come up with amazing design on our smartphone using Pixela. I believe we all learn something from here. It has not finished. They will need to put a finishing touch to this. So now we go to this uh, white, white, yeah. We want it to stand out. So we go to the shadow. We apply the shadow, increase the blur radius a bit. Now the offset, we are going to go here. Yes, this is where we are going. Then we have the offset to go up a bit so very good this is how we actually want it okay perfect now you can reduce it to whatever you actually wanted and i believe this is actually cool we can increase it to that level then this one to this level as well and i believe this is okay like this so after that we can we depend on it we can still move this but we'll have this one go here so everything is actually plumb now when you see it the way it looks and I believe we all learned from here. So after that, we look at it critically. And we look at it carefully. We can see that uh, everything is actually plumb the way we actually want it. And we can see that uh, we are making we are making a cool design. So you can go to this uh, Baba and uh, apply a shadow to make it uh, stand out as well and uh, well presentable. So we go to the shadow area noise stroke apply it to reduce the opacity then the blur radio should be reduced a little bit too then enable the outer glow and increase the offset white to something at five and this one make it to be cool anyway so now we can move this to this side and if you check it you can see that uh, the text is now is not really sleep on the background anymore so it stand out a little bit and make it uh, more okay so thank you for watching God bless you. If this video helped you one way or the other, don't forget to uh, 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 drop your drop your uh, uh, reaction on the comment section. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you are not new to my channel as well, or you are new, make sure you turn on the bell icon so that you can be notified whenever I update my channel with amazing video like this. Thanks for watching once again. God bless you.